Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cooker Run Oven Break. We're doing, we're going to be at least trying to do another raid run in this video because recently I have been failing at a lot of them because really you just need a solid team to really pull this off. And actually, before I leave, I do want to check something out because uh, it kind of depends on how I play. Uh, but I mean, this thing, and uh, there's quests that you can do for this, which is like trial stuff. I need to use, I've used 72, I, I'm just probably going to do that off camera, successfully complete raid without running out of energy. Uh, I guess that's just do raids in general, and success, uh, successfully complete, wow, I really need to do that. Alright, well, we're going to be going through this, and it uh, might be long, but luckily, I've been doing a lot of this off camera, and I have, a, I have at least enough so I can actually do uh, some of the cutscenes now, at least the first two. Because I've been doing a lot of it so much that like the last task that I need to do was uh, do a raid run with uh, another friend. And the first time I actually did do that with a friend, and it was actually pretty fun. However, another time that I did that, uh, I did it off camera, and I got the thing unlocked. So, I didn't achieve it yet. At the end of the video, we will be looking at the cutscene, and then I'm probably going to record this again, and show off the next cutscene, and just keep on going and going with the cutscenes. And I'm really hoping that I can soon show off just like the new bosses, because, sheesh, you can only do so much with a B. But there we go. Okay, yeah, we've got some, like, we have two that are, like, relatively high level, and then other two that are, like, only level one. I'm hoping that we can hopefully get through this, but I don't know. I will say it's just going to be a lot, very painful if we can't. Uh, but, yeah, only, no way, okay, nearly all of us are uh, ready. So, who's prepared for a very long haul of just running and doing missions? It's going to be kind of painful, but you know what? Let's go, let's go uh, start with this. So you may be wondering, oh, uh, Hyper, how can you make this com like content with just trying to fight these bosses more interesting, especially if it isn't a new one? Well, I can try to just like come up with other things on the fly, but the first thing I at least want to talk about is that I just want to mention, first of all, thank you all so much for the support on the uh, the drama-related video that I talked about in regards to the uh, hashtag safe road situation and all that stuff, because definitely there have been some changes, quote-unquote, but realistically, all that's been happening is that uh, Dev Sisters has been just going like, hey, uh... You know, I know all of you are mad right now, so here's a bunch of rewards. And I'll, I'm just going to say this right now as a guaranteed fact. Don't get me wrong, free rewards are pretty cool because, you know, honestly, like, they can help you through the game. And obviously, like, it doesn't have to be much of a stress, like, you know, have to grind for all the materials. But here's my issue with that. Don't get me wrong, like, I'm not going to turn my head up with free rewards. But my issue is that having free rewards does not get rid of the problem. Like, I'm, I'm just being 100% honest here. Like, sure, you can give us free rewards all day and night, it doesn't matter. The problem is, that doesn't change the issues at hand with, you know, what's happening with Rose, what's going on with the game and all that stuff. All that is, is going to just, like, try and distract us from the bigger picture. And sure, don't get me wrong, like, I know you're trying to show niceness because, like, oh, well, uh, I, we feel bad, so here's some rewards. And I get that. I understand that. But the only issue is that that doesn't solve the problem. Like, all that does is just try and distract us, and just like, of course, like I said, you know, oh, try and make us, like, you know, happy about the situation, but like, it doesn't even make me happy about the situation. It just kind of shows that, uh, are we really not gonna get enough yellow bear jellies? Are we, are we, no, wait, okay, we got good at least. Okay, fine, we'll take that. But like, it just, focus on the bigger picture at hand. I know it will take time, but like, still, you just really need to focus on, like, the bigger picture and the community in general. But, with that being said, I actually did leave a complaint in the uh, Discord server in re regards to the uh, Oven Break update support. Like, not help, but like, feedback. And this is in the official Kick Run update, and uh, like the Oven Break up- uh, putting The official Oven Break Kick Run Oven Break uh, Discord. So it actually is official, and I left feedback there. And it, the what I posted actually got like, I think nearly 40 upvotes, surprisingly. Making it- ow. Making it one of the more like, highly upvoted ones, but like, what I said was, the thing is, raid runs, and I've actually been told this before, this is actually not the first time that they introduced raid runs. I think they did this back in, uh, when Goblin Cookie and, uh, Melon Bun Cookie was released, and they did this, like, mining, like, mining expedition, like, game mode. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Which, honestly, I really want to know how that, I, I should probably look up videos about that. I want to know how that game mode was like, in comparison to this, because people are just saying this is just insane crocs of bs and it's just like not good which i can see that there's so many people saying it but i want to see like how that looks like some footage of like how that was in the past like how far did we fall but anyway 
what I did to say in the Everbrick, say I said stuff along the lines of, I guess for a short summary, you know, I was very excited for raid runs, you know, the concept of like, you know, teaming up with like people to take down a boss, it's kind of like the equivalent of like a raid boss in Pokemon Go, or like there's this very hard uh, Pokemon that you have to fight and capture, and you couldn't just take it down by yourself, you need like a group of people to help like take it down, and then you would all get like all the rewards and even the opportunity to capture Pokemon, that's what I was thinking. And of course, I wasn't expecting, like, oh, you capture the giant bee monster. But no, I'm just saying, like, split rewards and stuff like that. That would be cool. And technically, that is the case, but it was so much worse. Because what ends up happening is, uh, first of all, oh, I'm not gonna, oops. I should've just went down. There was, like, a gem I could've collected there. Uh, but, like, what ends up happening is, like, the boss becomes super hard. It's unbalanced for players in comparison with the free-to-play and pay-to-plays. And, like, also with the fit oh, that hurts. Dang it. I keep getting hit. I'm not playing in my A game. But also, like, the big issue I also have with that is, like, playing... Imagine if you, like, play and, like... Oh, please. Okay, okay, we made it. Uh, but it's also just the fact of, like, if you, uh... Man, I just really have a mind fart right there. I swear, I was... Okay, okay, yeah, here's what I'm talking about. If, like, even one player lose, by the way, now it says four out of five, which means that's the amount of people who are left alive. Even if it says four out of five, losing a player who does damage or just helps your team in general is so bad because that means the run is going to last for longer and it's going to be so much more of a hassle to deal with especially like i mentioned before there's like people who had like level like two skills at like a high levels like level seven and eight and then there were two other players who had like you know only level one skill and i can't even blame them for that because that's just the game like you know not being generous with like what they do that, those are obviously just like beginner players i'm pretty sure and if someone ends up I, I swear, I kid you not, this phone is always breaking whenever I get a chance. I pressed the jump button and it did not jump. Oh my gosh, I hit that so much. Ugh. Literally just, if you're wondering why that popped up, I just wiped down the screen. Just hopefully it can make the jump button more interactive because I pressed it like that and it just didn't work. But anyway, if one person falls, it just makes it a lot harder. And especially it makes it worthless if you're the last cookie left and the, and like the boss still has like, I don't know, times 15 health. Like 15 health bars left. There is no way that you could take them out. And of course, sure, you could if you want to. But the thing is, by that time, the timer would just be... It would be going bonkers. And, like, you would just, like, run out... Like, not run out... Well, obviously, yeah, you would run out of time. And But the thing is, like, after you run out of time, you get poisoned. And your energy would just go down more and more. And unless if you're a support who can just, like, easily get their health back. Or you're, like, super perfect. You're, you're probably gonna need to spend some crystals just to go revive. And the thing is, like... You need to keep on reviving with 100 crystals plus each time, which means, like, if you fall once, okay, it costs 100 crystals to revive, not a big deal, to be honest, but then the next time, it's 200, and then the next time, it's 300, and I'm pretty sure, like, 300 is the most I've ever had to revive, but I'm pretty sure the next time, it's gonna be, like, 400, and then it's gonna be, like, 500, and at that point, it just makes you wonder, even when you're the last person left who's, like, getting no score from it, it just makes you wonder, is it worth it? Like, is it just worth it to just, like, spend all those crystals on probably some 30-minute or 10-minute chest that you're barely gonna get any loot from? Like, if it's, like, you know, the 12-hour or the 2-day chest, maybe. I could see that being somewhat worth it. But, like, still, it's just, like, you gotta think, what's more worth it? The time or the loot or the rewards? So, as I was saying, I was mentioning those, like, problems, especially with raid runs. This was only just for raid runs. I didn't even mention anything about the magic laboratory. So, what I said on Discord was... How about here's three ways of fixing the raid run system, at least in my opinion. And sure, right, remember, these are opinions, they can be disagreed with, they can be agreed with, anyone has the right to their own opinion. These are just mine. The first one is that, from, from what I can remember, you just make the boss, like, easier to defeat, so, like, you can actually, like, you know, do actual good damage to it, like, regardless of skill or not, and just, like, you know, lower defenses or something like that, or whatever. Now, the second way is that... You could actually, like, sure, it, even if it's hard to take down the boss, what you could at least do is that, depending on your ranking, by the time that either you lose or you win, you still get rewards. So, let's say, even if, like, oh, we ne never defeated the boss, like, it was a, it was so hard for us to defeat and we, we lost. There's, it still says that, like, oh, you get first place, second place, first place, and the, or third, and then there's, like, four and fifth, which is, like, no really, like, medal for that, just bronze, silver, and gold. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. Does the placement of, like, how high you got points, is it really worth it if you don't even get any rewards for it? Because if you lose, no one gets rewards. It doesn't matter if you're, like, first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. It doesn't matter. As If you just lose, 
or by the time the boss ends, like if you lose and you don't defeat the boss, you get nothing. So can they at least change it to the point where like you at least get some form of award if you at least get a solid amount of score? And I know they have the ranking system up there, like you know E rank, but like seriously, like at that point you're just wasting our time. Because imagine running 12 minutes and 40 seconds just to get nothing and losing. That's not worth it. And I know you'd be still doing stuff like that. Ow, that sucked. I'm probably gonna use a crystal here just to revive. I'm probably gonna only do it once because we are still getting like a solid amount of damage off. We still have four people left. But like, could you at least make it like worth our time? Because I'm not gonna be running for 12 minutes and 40 seconds and get nothing out of it. Literally, I could be- Do you know how much you could do in a day for like 12 minutes and 40 seconds? There's a lot you can do! So much! Oh, I almost got hit right there. Oh, Alright. But there's so much you could legit do in that amount of time. I'm not even joking. And just the fact that, like, it makes our feeble efforts, like, not... It's just, it's kind of insulting. So, I at least said, like, at least make it so that, like, people with the higher scores get, like, rewards, even if they lose. Just make sure people get rewards, because I at least want to make the 12 minutes and 40 minutes worth it, even if we don't win. Because... It shouldn't be a matter of winning, it should be a matter of like, hey, we're a team and we're trying our hardest. So, I'm sorry, that's just my opinion on that, but sheesh. Now, there is a third way that I also mentioned how they could probably fix this, if they wanted to. I was thinking that they could add a vengeance system. How does that work? Oh, by the way, we have three- nope, never mind, four people. But, how does it work? This means that if someone were to lose, let's say you have five cookies, you have, you're playing with five teammates. I gotta get all those jumps off. Come on, get some more. There we go, nice and great. But I was saying, or my jump button did not work again. Oh my gosh, I'm, I swear, I need this phone replaced because the buttons are just getting more buggy the more that I play. I swear, and that's gonna be just be shameful for me. And I swear, I didn't even intentionally like, oh, I just uh, missed the jump button for content. No, I've been spamming the jump button whenever I could because I just need to get as many damage and like things off as I could. But sheesh. Anyway, as I was mentioning before I got really interrupted by falling, they should add, like, a vengeance system, where if you're running with five cookies, and one of those cookies ends up falling, and they run out of energy and they can't run anymore, what they should do is that they should make the rest of the cookies receive an attack buff. Okay, well, I'm gonna spend the crystals. At least it gives me a boatload of energy. Uh, but they should receive an attack buff when a cookie falls. Why? Well, they would want to cast vengeance on their fallen friend, which obviously they'd be enraged, they want to do more damage, like, how dare you, uh, like, make our friend, like, run out of energy. So they were in gonna increase attack buff. But this would make it so that the less cookies you have, the still fair chance you would have, just so you could actually, like, fight it, even if you had one cookie left, because by that time, the last cookie running, even if there's one left, would have this huge attack buff to the point where they could actually take down the boss by themselves. And even if there's one cookie left, like, you know, they couldn't get the, like, you know, the other cookies couldn't get the rewards, there would still be fair rewards for the uh, last cookie to get. So... I was hoping that they could add that, and that I think that would make it a lot more improvement and the raid mode a lot more fair, but that is just me. But luckily, we were able to beat the boss, which did take a little bit, however, we still had a fair amount of time. Nearly 10 billion points, got us a C plus rank, I don't think that gives us good chest though. Well, it gave me the two 12 hour ones, can't be really mad about that. But there we go, got some solid loot out of that, and we can do it, fun fact, you don't have to tell me. There's actually something that I need to know, by the way. This is a 10-minute chest, so it only gives you coins. Uh, as far as I know, I think there's four different types of chests. There was a brown one that was 10 minutes. These blue ones are, a, uh, are 30 minutes, which I'll put one in right now. There's uh, plumbing these, which are 12 hours. And then there's these, which are two days. At that point, I'd rather just like open the two days one with like keys and stuff. But you can put a maximum up to four chests in there. I was being an idiot the first time that I played this, and I only put one in there. So, remember, you can put four chests in there and just, you know, save your time. Who's ready to finally dwell on the story? So let's go over to go over to our events, and then we can go to the, uh, what is it, raid quest? Yes. And I have two of these completed. I have this one, but I'm only just going to focus on one of the video. As you can see, there's a uh, play together with a friend or guild member two times, which I think is kind of ridiculous, because sometimes I have to, like, really the only two times that I managed to do this was because I have a Discord server. And, hey, if you want to join it, maybe other people can play raid runs with you, and you can accomplish this mission, too. But there's also use a blue skill, use a yellow skill, and use a red skill. Those are pretty easy. And then over here, here's a level 5, level 4, level 3, level 2, and then obtain a story to decipher the Discord. So basically, I can get all those, but let's just focus on the one first, which is this, and this, this, and this. And what do you get? You get just a small, little tiny reward of three silver powder. 
I really wish they had brought the other magic powder in the game. And I know they're trying to, like, give you rewards and, like, make things cheaper. But, like, still, at that point, I think I, I think it'd still just be worth it to, like, revert it. Just take the old IPA from, like, one update ago and just give us the old magic laboratory back. Come on, Dev Sisters. But anyway, I think it's time for the story fun. That actually looks pretty beautiful. Uh, uh, Lulu why did you stop here? Have we arrived already? Wow, so pretty. There are so many fireflies. It seems the monsters didn't come this way. That's because this area is guarded by the fireflies. Only Little Bo Cookie and I have been here before. But thanks to you, we were able to escape safely. <sighs> of course. If I wasn't there to help, you would have been finished by now. I would have been able to beat them all if I was by myself. If Licorice Cookie wasn't there to get in my way. Well, if you didn't get in my way, my servants would have made quick work of them too. We were lucky to get in that no one just got hurt. You think that's good luck? It must be comfortable living with whatever simple ingredients you have in your dough. The fireflies are anxious. Everyone, how about we just calm down a bit? Lilibo Cookie, let them argue. They're the ones in a hurry. But I want everyone to get along. You should still think that we need to worry about those cookies. It's just... the fireflies. But the only way out of here is the way through we, that we came, right? So we'll have to go back out to where the monsters are. If it wasn't a mess before, it would be foolish to expect returning there to end in, in any other way. Uh... Couldn't it work if we all just try to cooperate? If it was that easy, we wouldn't have needed to come here. Let's go with Gingerbread's plan. We'll probably need to fight the Millennial Deer when we get there, so practice wouldn't hurt, right? We couldn't even fight on our own. Do we really have time to practice teamwork? We'll have to try it and find out. Let's start with planning. How about luring them away instead of fighting? But what if we end up facing more later? We don't know what's waiting in this part of the forest either, remember? I'm sure we'll find a way. I just hope no one gets hurt. But you're not being careful yourself. Have you already forgotten that you almost ended up in danger moments ago? But I'm safe now. You're always like this. Always thinking of everyone while forgetting those closest to you. Maybe it's best if we go separately until these cookies find- or just- Until these cookies leave our forest. But we've always been together. That's why I want to do this separately. I'm not sure if I can keep being a pair with you if this goes on. Well, well Lily Cookie. That cookie sure gets scary when she's angry. Huh. We should probably hurry back out there. Well, that's kind of it uh, for the cutscene. I will focus on this cutscene next time. We do have everything unlocked for it. However, and also, especially after that, I'm probably just going to do another video, like, one after the other. Because, fun fact, there's still, like, this event with the poison mushroom cookie down here. Which, at this point, I should be able to complete. But I've done a raid uh, run today. I've done a raid run in this video. And I just have to do a run more. Uh, run more. One more, just so I can get those ten big mushrooms. Because those are the more valuable ones. But that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also, share this video uh, with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content. If you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merchandise if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description you want to check that out it's a fun time down there i'm trying to expand each and every single day and last but certainly not least uh i have a link down in the description that leads to a tweet where if it gets 10,000 likes i can get the cooker on youtube set for free which would be awesome but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video heal the hype beats.